What is going on fam? Hope you're all having a great day, afternoon, or evening. We are coming at you with another video today. And in this video, we're going to be talking about Dungeon Defenders Awakened and the time I got to spend with the devs, um, the Chromatic Games devs that were at PAX East and going over all the questions that I was able to ask them and going over all the feedback that I gave them and just going over all those answers that they gave us, uh, what answers they were able to give us. Uh, in this video i definitely want to give a shout out uh to the team at pax uh, you guys did a phenomenal phenomenal job of not only answering my questions while you were also showing off the game but i'm um, doing a great job of just having a phenomenal booth at pax uh, surrounded by all the crazy <laughs> animal crossing people hopefully you all had fun I wish I would have won some Steam keys in your raffles, but I understand um, that they're rigged, so uh, no hard feelings. <laughs> I'm just kidding. So let's get into the questions that we have. Uh, to start off the video, I'm definitely going to go over uh, the beginning part, which was quality of life questions. And we had a lot for them, and they were very open to suggestions uh, that I had from all of you um, during our live streams. Uh, if you guys don't know, we do live stream daily over at tw over on twitch uh twitch.tv forward slash am that will be in the description below so feel free to go check us out uh, we are always over there live streaming some some dungeon defenders or some random game so feel free to, to to check us out so quality of life um the first thing we're gonna start with upgrading screen uh, this is something that gets asked in the chat a lot for me to ask them i definitely asked them and um yes the upgrading screen is going to get changed moving forward uh, right now, the current screen or the current uh, UI for upgrading is just a placeholder. Uh, this is something that is definitely going to get tweaked in upcoming patches. So definitely be sure to give your feedback on any changes that, that come to the upgrading screen. That way, the, the dev team over at Chromatic Games knows what you like and what you don't like. Um, next up is keybinds. So right now, there are some hidden keybinds that you may not know that are into the game. Uh, that is num lock or num keys one two three and four. These were hard coded into the game while during testing for the team when they were trying to test the game having F one two three and four keybound to switch the switch the heroes didn't exactly work out well for them. So what they did is they coded in one two three and four on the num on the num pad and unfortunately this transferred over into the live game. Uh, from talking to them this is hopefully going to be something that is changed by patch 1.0 or by 1.0 in the game it could happen sooner than that it could happen after that but this is something that was just an oversight um, that was put into the game unfortunately so hopefully we can see this change moving forward i personally would love to see this change i use the razor naga mouse so i would love to, to have those numb uh, those numb keys back for me Comparing loot on the ground. This is something believe it or not that was already in the game uh, They already had this in the game before the Set up the UI and then once they put in the UI for the game the two didn't mesh well So what they did is they took out the comparing of loot on the ground That way they could you know get everything to where it is now and then they can get the game out I believe this is something that's gonna be added back. They already had it in the game before I believe all they got to do is just do some testing with the, the UI right now to make sure that it works. But hopefully we can see this coming in future patches, which would be pretty awesome just to be able to compare that loot that is on the ground that drops during waves. Sounds. So I did get a chance to talk to the number one guy who does the sounds over there at Chromatic Games. Honestly, a phenomenal guy with an amazing beard. And all the sounds are brand new to dda so if there are any sounds in the game that are not working properly or any sounds that you would like to have added into the game that are currently um, not in the game an example would be the ping sound for pinging into the game there was an old sound i believe in dd1 that was yoohoo so this sound could be added into the game if you guys really want to have it in the game personally i would love to have the chest sounds sound a lot like dd2 where you know when the chest opens you hear all the loot just kind of you know popping out which is for me it just was very rewarding to have that that chest sound it just sounded like 
really amazing and it seemed like your hard work um, paid off when you when you heard that chest so I would love to have something like that but again if you have any comments about the sounds be sure to, to give your feedback to them because they are listening to you I'll definitely leave a link in the description below for their discord that if you don't already have it renaming a pets and renaming a character so believe it or not when I actually asked them this question the next day the renaming of heroes was added into the game so that was really cool but as far as renaming a pets i don't believe this is something that is going to be added uh, moving forward i think if the community really really wants it it could potentially but it's it's not anything that looks like it's it's ever going to be added into the game skip wave function this is something that has been talked about a lot when i when i read the discord and then when i look on forums currently on the roadmap there is a point on there where there is a replay wave on the roadmap the replay wave function which is if you fail on wave three you know during a campaign mode uh, you can just replay that wave instead of the replay the entire map um, this is something that is in dd2 i don't know if it's in dd1 i personally i did i didn't play dd1 i started um basically an hour into dd1 going into dd2 so uh, I do not know about DD1, but in DD2, this is something that's in DD2. And so that is something that could be the replay wave function coming. Or I, know, I believe I'm talking to some people in the live streams uh, that in DD1 had a skip wave function during survival or certain modes that you could just skip to a certain wave. Uh, this could be added into the future as well. This is something that, again, they are listening to your feedback about. And this could definitely mold from either just a replay wave to replay wave and skip wave or just skip wave. So uh, definitely leave your feedback if you would want both, if you would just want one or the other. Uh, that way, you know, when you know, this function comes into the game, you know, they can definitely do their best to um, add it, you know, to the community's liking. Quick lock and sell. So hotkeys to lock and sell. So with talking to them, basically they are trying to figure out what kind of system they want for locking and selling into the game. I believe the entire UI and the entire system for the inventory is brand new. So with that, the, the shortcuts that you had in DD1 and DD2 aren't, into, aren't in the game. So they're definitely listening to the community for their feedback on adding shortcuts into the game i gave them my feedback that i would love to have an l key be the lock and s key to be the cell i would also like to see the dd2 quick commands of control left click go straight to the upgrading screen I, I feel like that would be really nice as well to have that just some shortcuts to be able to you know get between the the different selling and and locking which would be nice i think i think we all can agree on that having s is cell and l is lock would be really nice so hopefully we can get those added to the game. The more you all talk about and leave your feedback about wanting that, the higher it definitely moves up the list. Because believe me, there is a list being made of what uh, feedback that the community is giving. Uh, some more quality of life. AFK shops. This is a suggestion that I got from somebody in the, during the live stream of just having shops. Uh, during AFK screens that you can either sell items or manage your items in there. Uh, this is something that they did like the idea of you know being able to sell your items in your inventory or being able to list your items during the combat phase. Uh, the reason why you can't access your inventory right now is because they don't want you to have the ability to swipe your gear in the middle of combat phase. The whole point of having that locked is that you have to set your gear to what it is and you got to go into combat with what you have equipped and you can't swap it during combat so they that's the reason why it is what it is but as far as adding a shopkeep or something like that <clears throat> i believe there was something during dd1 again i'm just going off the feedback that i got from you guys in the live streams it seems like they could be able to lock certain parts of the inventory to where you can't access your gear, but you could be able to sell during combat phase. So definitely leave a comment down below if that's something that you would want, or definitely go onto their 
Discord or go onto forums and leave comments there. Player shops. This is something that I brought up as well. Um, how the whole selling of gear is going to go in, is going to work. Is it going to be similar to DD2 where you have your shop and you have to list items and people who come into your tavern just buy them that way? Or if it's going to be something totally different? The answer that I got is they don't know. Uh, so right now they are trying to figure that one out as well. Again, they are just trying to listen to feedback from the community and trying to mold uh, the way player shops are to what uh, the consensus of the community wants. So if you do not like the way DD2 shops are and you would rather have uh, DD1 uh, trading and selling where you go into other people's taverns and you do it that way or if you can just list your items, um, definitely leave your feedback. That way they can take note of it because there's always going to be somebody who's unhappy. Next up, I definitely asked about emotes. Uh, some of you may not like this, but uh, for me, when you're going through combat phase, there is that little lull time. Having emotes into the game, whether it's dancing or just something silly in the game, or having emotes to be able to pop up, you know, it's like build a tower here or come over here or just something to be able to alert your team. Uh, adding those into the game seems like as as far as having an email pop up to alert your team they like the idea as far as having your character dance or something like that it seems like that would be a lot of work and it may not be something added into the game so i was pretty heartbroken about this one just because i would love to have my character dance around you know during combat phase when it's kind of slow and those lower waves where you don't have to go kill an ogre or you don't have to fight a boss or something so it would be nice to be able to you know dance around with your character do something silly which would be kind of fun uh, but it looks like that's not something that is feasible as of right now to be added into the game so moving on from quality of life and emotes we're going to move to challenge maps and dlc uh, challenge maps are already on the roadmap so this is something that is going to be added you can definitely take a look at the roadmap it is on their the dungeon defenders website you can check that out there uh, there are already you know different times where challenge maps are going to be coming out so those are definitely coming in to the game uh definitely had a question from somebody in the live stream whether the challenge maps were going to be like the <clears throat> like eternia shards the answer was no so they aren't looking to copy paste eternia shards or dlc from dd1 it looks like it looks like they're trying to add new dlc specific to dda while adding some of the concepts coming from dd1 or you know dd2 but as far as having uh an eternia shards kind of system it didn't seem like that's how it was going to work out when i asked them this question it, it kind of was like a blank stare that i got back so it does look like eternia shards is coming or anything like that uh so i and they didn't really give me too much information as far as how challenge maps are going to work but um there are challenge maps definitely coming uh, next up we have heroes uh, this is definitely another hot topic that has been asked a, a lot not just in my live streams but also on the forums and on in discord um, are there going to be new heroes added to the game or are there going to be heroes added yes there are going to be heroes added uh, i'm almost certain there are going to be some of our favorites added in to the game uh, specifically ev2 uh, i do not know when EV2 will be coming to the game, but just from having my conversation with them at PAX, um, it sounds like EV2 is almost a shoe in to be coming into the game. Uh, the Jester, maybe not coming into the game. From talking with the team, it sounds like the Jester was a character that was kind of game breaking. So uh, it is a character or a hero that they do get asked a lot about but uh it's from talking to them it, it didn't sound like it was a, a top priority for this hero to be added into the game but again if you all really want to see the jester added to the game definitely leave your feedback post on the forums let's get jester into the game and maybe rift walker so this uh if you're unfamiliar who, with what or who uh rift walker is uh, Riff Walker was a goal that uh, they had when <clears throat> they were on Kickstarter to reach. And if they reached that goal, 
uh, Riff Walker was going to be a brand new hero added to the game. The, the name could be something different uh, when this hero is added. Uh, it sounds like that this hero may be getting worked on right now or is uh, something that will be added in the future, possibly DLC. Just from talking to the team, it seemed like some of the team knew about Riff Walker and some of them had no idea who Riff Walker is. So it sounds like Riff Walker is kind of being held close to the chest over there at Chromatic Games. They don't really want to have too much information leaked out about possibly a brand new hero being added. Uh, if I was a betting man, I would probably bet that we would maybe see a brand new hero with that new DLC uh, free update, which I think is scheduled for Q3. So if that happens, I would be super excited. But you know they are hard at work right now and definitely just trying to get content out on that roadmap right now as far as getting nightmare and hardcore mode out and then some challenge maps and bosses so that seems to be their main goals right now they have definitely a set list of suggestions and feedback from you all that they would love to add into the game as well but right now from from the overall consensus i got from them at pax is getting any of the huge bugs fixes right now which are progress wipes getting that fixed getting the memory leaks done uh, which <laughs> from talking to them uh, we do have somebody who we can blame we're not going to name them here because that would be really rude but it was actually really funny uh, from talking to them but send them your logs so when they're testing the game and they're trying to recreate the whole save issue or um, losing of progress uh, they haven't been able to replicate that when they are doing it so what they ask is that if you have that problem definitely send them your logs that way they can look at it and we can hopefully get this whole um, progress wipe issue um, solved next moving forward um, servers this is the question we get a lot is are there servers um, why don't they just reset the servers or roll back servers? So there are no servers for the game. It's all peer to peer, um, networking for the game. So they don't have servers to where they can just shut down the servers and all that kind of stuff. It's, it's, this is all peer to peer outside of that balancing and definitely getting content, um, into the game. It seems to be the biggest things that they want to do right now and get added to the game. That's just balancing all around. And then definitely looking forward to DLC and possibly a new hero. That could be something that we see in the future. So that is basically everything that I have from them. Uh, they were, su again, super, 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 super kind to take questions from me and definitely uh, take feedback from me. That's all of most of the questions that I have and the, the feedback that I had for them. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you do, please hit that like button. Also hit the subscribe button, trigger the bell for the notifications. So again, hopefully we see you for the next one. But if we don't, have a great day, afternoon, or evening. Like always, stay safe, stay gorgeous, and I'll see you all next time.